Hi. So far we have seen problems in uh, Fourier transform and inverse Fourier transform. Just a small recap for the formula that is f of u is equal to integral minus infinity to infinity e power i u x f of x dx. And what is the formula for inverse Fourier transform? 1 by 2 pi integral minus infinity to infinity e power minus i u x f of u d u. There is a small change in the formula when it comes to Fourier cosine transform as well as Fourier sine transform. Okay. So, normal Fourier transform the integral limits are from minus infinity to infinity. So, there the limits are going to be 0 to infinity. Same way here e power i u x e power i theta is a combination of cos theta plus i sin theta. Correct. So, it is a combination of cos as well as sine. So, for cosine transform in the formula only cos will come. And in the sine transform, only sine will come. Let's see that formula. Yes, now it's easy for you to connect to it. Now you see this formula f suffix c of u. Normal Fourier transform, you'll write it as f of u. Remember? So, and see the limit integral 0 to infinity f of x cos ux dx. So, what could be the inverse formula? 2 by pi integral 0 to infinity. Now, this resembles the even or odd case, right? In Fourier series. So, 2 by pi integral 0 to infinity f suffix c of u that is in the answer for the Fourier cosine transform. It will be in terms of u cos ux d u. Same way you can guess the formula for Fourier sine transform integral 0 to infinity f of x sine ux dx and for inverse Fourier sine transform 2 by pi integral 0 to infinity f of u sine ux du. These are the formulas for uh, Fourier cosine transform and Fourier sine transform as well as the inverse for the same. Now let's see a problem. Yes, you can see the problem. Find the Fourier sine transform of f of x is equal to e power minus mod x and hence evaluate integral 0 to infinity this integral where n greater than 0. So, uh, since they have given sine transform, we are writing f suffix s of u is equal to integral 0 to infinity f of x sine ux dx. My function f of x is e power minus mod x sine ux dx. So, uh, since the limit is from 0 to infinity, so this is going to be positive. So, your function is nothing but e power minus x sine ux dx. So, uh, it is similar to the formula integral e power ax sin bx. What is the formula? e power ax by a square plus b square a sin bx minus b sin bx. In the place of a we have minus 1. Correct? e power minus 1x. So, in the place of a we have minus 1. So, minus 1 sin ux because in the place of b I have u. So, everything else is the same. We have just replaced it and the limit is from 0 to infinity. So, when you apply the upper limit, you will get e power minus infinity. And then uh, when you apply the lower limit, you will get e power 0. So, you will get 1. And this first term will become completely 0 and you will be left with only the second term. And this minus and this minus will become plus because cos 0 is 1 this minus u is there as it is upper limit minus lower limit because of that one more minus is there so your answer will be u by 1 plus 1 square plus u square that is u by 1 plus u square so you got the answer that is the Fourier sine transform you got it so to find the integral always what we will do we will use a inverse but here we will not use simple inverse Fourier transform we are going to use inverse Fourier sine transform yes so as i told you the value is u by 1 plus u square and this is the formula that is f of x is equal to 2 by pi integral 0 to infinity fourier sine transform that is fs of u sine ux dx so this is your answer that you've got that is u by 1 plus u square and then sine ux dx now this is in general f of x okay so, uh, we are going to replace x by m. Why? Because in the question, if you see, it is in terms of m and x. Okay. So, uh, the denominator is some different term. But here the coefficient 
is m as well as x so we are replacing wherever x is there replacing it by m so u by 1 plus u square sin m u d u now you can see wherever u is there in the final answer if i replace by x i will get the desired integral so 2 by pi integral 0 to infinity u by 1 plus u square sin m u d u now this 2 by pi if it goes to the other side it will become pi by 2 and my function in the interval 0 to infinity is e power minus x here we are replacing x by m so we are getting e power minus m so e power minus m into pi by 2 that's equal to integral 0 to infinity u by 1 plus u square sin m u t u remember whenever we have to find the integral we are not going to integrate it we are just going to keep these terms as it is and push the rest of the terms to the other side so u by 1 plus u square sin m u d u everything is the same in the place of u i have x that's it so what is the answer pi by 2 into e power minus m is the answer so procedure is same as Fourier transform as well as uh, if we have to find an integral we use inverse Fourier transform procedure is the same only the formula is different that's it uh, we'll see one more problem now if you see this question solve the integral equation that is integral 0 to infinity f of x cos alpha x dx is equal to 1 minus alpha in the interval 0 to 1 and 0 if alpha greater than 1 and hence show that integral 0 to infinity 1 minus cos x by x square dx is this okay this we have to prove it now my question is they didn't mention anything you have to find Fourier sine transform or cosine transform nothing they didn't give anything so uh, what is given what we have to find that is the first question and if you see here integral 0 to infinity f of x cos alpha x your right hand side is in terms of alpha so it means since alpha of x is there this is which formula is this this is a uh, Fourier cosine transform so they have given this is nothing but the formula for Fourier cosine transform that is fc of alpha normally we uh, denote it by u here they have denoted it by alpha that's it so fc of alpha is given and we have to find f of x that's it so that is what uh, they have mentioned solve the integral equation so indirect way of asking find the inverse for this Fourier cosine transform so this is a formula f of x is 2 by pi integral 0 to infinity fc of u cos ux dx and 0 to infinity is divided into two interval right because in the question 0 to 1 and 1 to infinity the rest of the function is 0 0 to 1 my function is 1 minus alpha so 0 to infinity I am writing it as 0 to 1 1 minus alpha cos alpha x d alpha and the rest of the terms will become 0 pen is not working ok so the rest of the terms will become 0 only we have to integrate this and integration by parts keep 1 minus alpha as it is cos alpha x integration is sin alpha x by x here we are doing the inverse one and f of x is nothing but right hand side du or d alpha so you are integrating with respect to alpha so x is a constant this is very 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 important so in the denominator you are writing x and not alpha so please write a note for yourself that you are integrating with respect to alpha so x is a constant okay so denominator we are writing x here and then minus sign 1 minus alpha 1 if you differentiate it will become 0 minus alpha with respect to alpha we are differentiating don't think that this is a constant here now so minus alpha if I differentiate minus 1 and then sin alpha x integration is cos alpha x by x square here x is a constant because we are integrating with respect to alpha I am repeating it again and again because we tend to always treat the other value as constant and x we won't write it in the denominator ok so please be careful with the inverse transforms and uh, while applying the limit uh, sin uh, alpha x and sin 0 so upper limit and lower limit will become 0 for this and here it will become uh, cos uh, 1x minus cos 0 cos 0 is 1 so we have done that so this minus and if we take it inside 1 minus cos x by x square 2 by pi is a constant which is there outside 
so f of x is 2 by pi 1 minus cos x by x square now we have to solve the integral yeah see this integral 0 to infinity 1 minus cos x by x square dx i want the solution for this okay i have to prove that finally this is equal to pi by 2 so since i want to know the value of the integral and my final answer here it is uh, 1 minus cos x by x square again i am going to find fourier cosine transform for this you may think already we have got what is the use of applying the inverse uh, transform and again find the fourier cosine transform since we want to calculate this integral value we are just finding it but we won't be integrating it as usual so fcf alpha what is the formula that is integral 0 to infinity f of x cos alpha x it's not visible integral 0 to infinity f of x cos alpha x dx so what is f of x 2 by pi 1 minus cos x by x square cos alpha x dx so now we are not going to integrate because evaluate the integral what we want 1 minus cos x by x square integral value dx all these things we got it so only i have to get rid of this cos alpha x and 2 by pi and i should sub so i have to substitute a particular value so that this will vanish correct when cos alpha x will vanish when alpha becomes 0 because cos 0 will become 1 so left hand side we will get fc of 0 that is I have to find the function value at 0 that is easy so I am going to substitute alpha 0 as I told you so on the left hand side fc of 0 my function value is 1 minus alpha right in the in 0 to 1 so 1 minus 0 so I got 1 here and on the right hand side uh, we got the same thing 2 by pi 1 minus cos 6 by x square dx into cos 0 cos 0 is 1 so just neglect everything pi by 2 by pi if you push it to the other side it will become pi by 2 so we got the integral hence evaluate so we got one value we have to find one more thing right to find integral 0 to infinity sin square t by t square dt so they told this value is also pi by 2 and we have to prove this value is also pi by 2 how to prove that so I have to substitute some other value and bring this format in terms of sign what is the uh, trigonometric formula that connects this 1 minus cos and sign very simple same formula where we have started same alpha 0 we got till here same thing okay so 1 minus cos x by x square dx is equal to pi by 2 we got it just replace the value 1 minus cos x as 2 sin square x by 2 half angle formula and uh, now you get the desired one sin square t by t square right push this 2 down okay so uh, sin square x by 2 by x square by only 1 2 z so in the numerator and denominator multiply by 1 2 and divide by 1 2 that's it so uh, the 2 that you don't want push it outside so you will write sin square x by 2 by x by 2 the whole square so replace x by 2 as some t okay again I repeat it is the same as what we have done only we have applied the trigonometric formula and this 2 is there right I am multiplying by 1 more 2 and divide by 1 more 2 that is it so uh, this numerator will become 4 that 4 I am pushing it down so x square by 4 this is nothing but x square by 2 square so 1 more 2 will be there that we have taken it outside so now in the place of x by 2 since this is what you have to prove so x by 2 we have t just replace x by 2 as t so uh, as i told you if you replace x by 2 as t 1 by 2 dx will become dt so what is dx 2 dt we are just going to change and the integral values are going to be the same there is no change when you substitute x by 2 as t so integral 0 to infinity sin square t by t 2 dt this 2 you push it to the other side so this answer is also pi by so uh, in this problem what is something different over here is uh, they didn't mention uh, apply or find the inverse Fourier cosine transform and all those things. 
so whenever you see an evaluate an integral you will apply inverse fourier transform but you won't integrate literally to find the answer that's a clue so fourier uh, cosine transform and sine transform only change in the formula but the procedure is the same and we'll be using simple integration techniques over here thank you